Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn local storage by building a to do app. Step 11. All right. So before we get into this, in the last one, I said something uh, to the effect that this isn't telling us what it's going to do, but actually what it, the uh, prevent default, but what it's actually going to do is stop the browser from refreshing the page after submitting the form, right? And that's what it says, obviously. But the thing is, there's no real way to demonstrate that right here. So I went to the end of the thing. This is the last lesson, 59 right here, and did it. And when I, we take this out of here, and do the do the uh, task, you know, uh, blah 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 and blah blah. It doesn't really do anything when we submit it, and that's pro and when I talked to ChatGPT about it, it's ChatGPT said that this is probably there's probably something preventing this thing from refreshing the page in the code for the actual uh, preview section for this actual preview section, so it doesn't like refresh the page. But if it was a regular browser, but if this was like a regular browser, like on my site or any other site, uh, this one, this thing would actually prevent the page from going hmm, refreshing the page right here and uh, uh, doing this. It would just smoothly, just like it did on here, it just smoothly goes and adds the thing like that. No refresh needed. So that's basically what this thing's doing. All right. Just letting you know. Uh, so let's get back to it. Uh, so for step 11, we're going to need to determine whether the task being added to the task data array already exists or not. If the task does not exist, we will add it to the array. If it does, pardon me, if it does exist, we will update it. So to accomplish this, we can use the find index method. So the find index array method finds and returns the index of the first element in the, pardon me, in an array that meets the criteria specified by a provided testing function. If no such element is found, the method returns negative one. So here's the example. We've got this numbers array with numbers right like that in there. We've got const first num larger than three, all right? So it's gonna be numbers.findindex. The parameter is gonna be num, and we're gonna be looking for the number that's the first number that's greater than three, all right? So it's gonna go to the first one, that's not greater than three, not greater than three. It'll find five and it'll, it'll return uh, index two when we do a console.log first number larger than three, all right? Because the index is zero, one, two, right there, right? So that's how that's working. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use const to declare a variable data r index, and we're gonna assign it the value task data dot find index. For the find index method, we're gonna pass in an arrow function with item as the parameter. So like this one's doing num right here, we're gonna put item there instead, all right? Uh, within the arrow function, we're going to check if the ID property of item is strictly equal to the ID property of current task. All right. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we'll say const data r index equals task data. All right. And then we're going to use the find index method. So find dot find index. All right. And for the uh, callback function, we're going to say item like that. We're going to do the arrow and then we're going to say item dot ID needs to strictly equal current task dot ID. All right. We cap it off with a semicolon. All right. So let's go over this. So item dot ID. Remember, we're inside of task form event listener submit right now. Right. So the item dot ID is going to be uh, we're doing task data, right? So it's going to go through this array once it has a bunch of objects in it. It's going to the first one, second one, third one, and look up all the IDs of them. And the ID, if it if any of them equals whatever is in the current task, later we're going to us uh, we're going to change we're going to put it we're going to add it to the task data array, right? But if there's nothing, mm, yeah, if it doesn't equal, okay, hold on a second. If this thing comes out negative one, right? It's going to add, we're going to write some code to add whatever the current task is to the task data array. It'll put this, it'll add this uh, object to this array. But if it is in there, it'll just update whatever's in this object to the corresponding object inside of this array. Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully this is right. Let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 12, and we'll see you next time.